This video is going to be about trophic efficiency in ecological pyramids. So trophic efficiency is going to be the percentage of production that's transferred from one trophic level to the next. So for example, that would be the uh, percentage of production transferred from primary producers to consumers, then to secondary consumers, and then lastly to tertiary consumers. And so this trophic efficiency has to always be less than our production efficiencies. And on average, trophic efficiency is about 10%, which means that 90% of the energy available to one trophic level is not transferred to the next trophic level. So for example, um, if we have 1 million joules of sunlight, only 10% of that is going to be able to actually be transferred to our primary producers, which is why we have 10,000 joules now in our primary producers. And then another 10% of that is what's available to be uh, transferred to the primary consumers. So by the time we're at primary consumers, we've already dropped from a million joules to only 1,000 joules. Then it will uh, only transfer 10% again to our secondary consumers. Now we're down to 100 joules. And then lastly, another 10% of that to our tertiary consumers, which is just 10 joules. So we can see that as we go up each level, we're losing about 90% of the energy uh, from the previous level. And so types of ecological pyramids, um, there are a couple different types. So one is the energy pyramid, which is like this one. It shows the amount of energy that goes from one trophic level to the next. Um, and so it'll, again, show the loss of energy with each transfer in the food chain. So another kind of ecological pyramid, then, is a biomass pyramid, like these two over here. And so in a biomass pyramid, each tier is going to represent the total dry mass of all the organisms in one trophic level. So for example, in uh, this in a biomass pyramid, we have um, 809 uh, grams per meter squared of primary producers, 37 of primary consumers, 11 of secondary consumers, and 1.5 of tertiary consumers. Um, and so this is pretty standard for most uh, ecosystems. But in some aquatic ecosystems, we can have inverted biomass pyramids where our primary consumers are actually going to outweigh our primary producers. So if you look right here, our consumers uh, outweigh our primary producers by a pretty good amount. And so the reason that this happens is because in these ecosystems, the uh, producers are going to reproduce and are consumed so rapidly by the primary consumers that their numbers are kept uh, at really low levels. And so that's why they have such a small biomass, but because they're able to reproduce and be eaten uh, so quickly, they're still able to support a pretty large number of primary consumers, which is why that trophic level has a higher biomass than the primary producers. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30 minute one on one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.